Hi, this is Theo from ElectroEffects.com. There's been some chatter in the ElectroEffects.com forums lately, and the question really was how do I use the email functionality of MetaTrader 4? And so, in this video, I want to show two very simple, quick, and easy ways of taking advantage of that feature. First thing you want to do is go to Tools, Options, and select the Email tab, of course. What you need to do is enable it, and we're going to have to fill in some of this information here. Now, uh, as you can see, we need an SMTP server, and there are a couple of very easy ways that we can obtain one of those. The first, uh, and certainly the easiest way, is to just use the SMTP service that your, your internet service provider gives to you. Uh, by that, I mean the company that is providing you with internet will have a an outgoing SMTP server. As you can see here, I'm with a company called Plusnet. This is a public page. These are the set their settings, uh, and this is their outgoing SMTP server that I can use. If I just go ahead and highlight that, and of course, this is going to differ from provider to provider. Whoever you are paying your bill of internet to, uh, you may need to contact them and ask them what their SMTP server is. Um, or just search around their uh, customer service portion of their website and find it. So once I have the SMTP server, I'm just going to come over here and put that in there. Because this is an open SMTP server, I do not need a login or a password. I just need to fill in the from and the to field. Now the to is the most important because that's where it's going. So I'm going to throw in my email address here. And the, uh, the from section can actually be whatever you like, really. Um, you know, if I just copy paste my email in there, it means I'm getting in an email from myself. The most important thing is going to be the header of the email, which um, any given expert advisor or indicator will include in there for you. So you are going to recognize it. Now, the only thing we have to do now is to click test. And once we click test, the message is successfully queued and you're told to look at the journal for more information. So if I close them down and I bring up my terminal, you can see here the test message has been sent. Um, there's no errors coming up and following through. If there are any errors, then you, you'll have something to correct. But as we can see, this one has been sent. I'm just going to check my email here on my other screen and make sure that it comes through. Okay, there is the message. So I know that the email functionality is now working. I've, I've tested it and I can use it with my expert advisors and indicators as I see fit. Now, the downside to using this, this open type of SMTP service is that they are really poorly run and, and configured uh, quite quite uh, basically and you know this just means you're going to have a lot of downtime here and there uh, some internet service providers may have their servers blacklisted uh, I mean there could be a few problems that you run into but generally speaking it's just the easiest way to go about it and, and you could use that uh, my second suggestion is a much more surefire way of, you know, just having confidence in the fact that you're going to get these emails ASAP without any hindrance, and that is to use an SMTP service. Now, I have found one that is free for up to 20 emails uh, a day, which is more than enough trading one or two pairs, uh, so you would not need to upgrade. Even if you wish to upgrade on services like this, you're talking about five dollars a month for a couple of thousand emails I mean it's just uh, you know a very minor amount and very negligible now I, I do believe that 20 emails a day trading one or two pairs is plenty so the free account will suffice I have this service um, that I've given an email uh, a link to sorry in in this video and below in the description here and you will go straight to this page here. This is the sign up page, and you just fill in your information, sign up for the free plan. Uh, this is going to give you 20 emails per day using this SMTP service. So go ahead and fill in all of this information, and you'll get your account details. 
and once you do you'll be able to log in to the service and you'll see a page that looks like this now at the top here I have an SMTP server and the SMTP port so I'm going to copy the server and make note of that port which is 2525 and if I go back to my MetaTrader and I'll go back to the email part of this we'll put in the new SMTP server and the port which is colon 2525 so I'm using the right port and the SMTP login and password are going to be the login and password you have for that SMTP service that you just signed up for so I'll go ahead and put mine in there and leave everything as so. So now I can send a test message. Uh, I'll click OK. We can see down here test message has been sent. We'll just wait and see if there are any errors. Nothing so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and check my email. And also what we can do here is go back to our SMTP service and refresh our page where we logged in and now we can see that it's been updated. I, I was originally at 1 out of 20 for the day, I've now gone to 2 out of 20 for the day. So I know that this email that was sent from MetaTrader went through this service and then I go to my inbox and I can see that the message has come through. So I'm 100% certain that everything is working there and that my email functionality of MetaTrader is working. Okay, so those are the two most basic ways of doing this, um, and they are both free, really, uh, unless you want to take things a little further. It could be up to $5 a month, but uh, I don't really see the need for it uh, unless you're trading five or six pairs. So the other part of using the email alerts is actually using them and in the templates that I provide and the charts that I provide we have this tool called the alerter which is something that you'll see down here in the bottom left of your chart it says email alerts on pop-up alerts off uh, I believe the default is actually the other way around I may have changed that so um, when you go into the indicator section and you edit the properties here you can see you have email alerts and pop-up alerts. You can have them both to true or both to false or one or the other. So I've switched on the email alert to true and that means that this particular indicator will send me uh, email alerts as opposed to the pop-up alerts. If I go ahead and close that, uh, quite simply if I place a line here and I wanted to know when price was within a few pips of that line I could simply go to the description of the line and type alert underscore three and that would give me an alert when the price is within three pips of that line and it will send me an email alert which we just set up. Um, so if I click OK that would be there. If you want to test this you can drag it closer and you could even place one on the other side of price also uh, and just keep tightening them in and make, until you get an alert just to verify that that's working. Okay, so that's the alerted tool. You can also do the same thing with diagonal lines. It doesn't matter if you use diagonal or horizontal. Just type that alert underscore and a number, and that number is the number of pips you want to be alerted uh, when price is within that amount of pips of the line. So that's a simple way of being alerted to specific price points. The other tool that's provided for you uh, is the pending order EA. And if I put that on the chart, you can see there's a send alert email uh, functionality in that also. These are pop-up alerts. These are email alerts. So you can choose which one you want to true or both. It's up to you. And that just means that you're going to have an email alert sent to you when a trade is entered uh, based on these pending lines that you have placed. And those are really the two items that you would use uh, these email alerts for and the two ways that you can set up the email alert functionality. I hope this video is of uh, some help. Uh, I'm starting to appreciate the idea of video responses as opposed to uh, trying to explain all this in text.